I'm back. <laughs> Hello, kids. I thought I'd show you the process of redoing the second time around my rear cantle cover. I've already got those started. Now, what I do to the tree is I take some sandpaper and I kind of scratch the varnish off of it. I don't want to really cut the rawhide, but I'll take my rough sandpaper and scratch it all up, and then I'll throw glue all over it. Then I'll put glue on this one here, too. Now, I've got one, two, three, four holes I got to match up with. And... It's going to be fun, <laughs> but I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go ahead and dunk this in some water real quick just to kind of soften it up enough to get it shaped real good like I want it, I hope. Just a little bit of a dunk, and then you got to wipe that glue off. You don't get that water off that glue, then it won't, it won't stick. So you just kind of dab it with your shop rag, I guess. Make sure you don't hang up on your nails. And then I'm going to start down here, like this. How am I going to lift it? I'm going to do this one for all that gum that glue stuck to the sheet. Sheep's going something between that so that I can concentrate on getting one part to stick first and that's going to be down here I put that rag up there so that I can get these stabbed first I know I'm in the way here See how I'm just tapping that in real, real gently? That's what you want to do. Okay, where did that hole go? Huh? There it is right there. There's the hole. If you'll tap that nail, it'll automatically find the hole that you've already, uh, you know, that you had in there when you first fit this. Now, I'm going to try to like that. This nail here. I put my sheepskin down so I wouldn't scratch nothing. I marked that earlier. Remember I told you I was looking for one of these earlier? There's why. I can get down in here. And get that. Work into that crack there. Also, it's good for coming up in here when you do your Cheyenne roll. And before I get too carried away up here, I'm going to come over here to this side now and try to get this one in the right hole.
there's all four of my nails are in place. This is, this saddle's not being tooled just because. So if you do tool one and you tool up the back here like that, uh, you got to be careful what and how you rub it. So you don't booger up your toilet that you went and did. same spot you were earlier, which it appears I am. So now, now I'm going to just have to let it dry. Not all the way, but by tomorrow. I'll be able to come in here and put my skirts on. And then come in and put my seat on. Then so my you put the counter binder on, which will be the piece that goes over this, and then we'll sew it all up. So for the rest of the evening, I'll come back in and uh, come in here and check this. Make sure see how we got a little wobble right there. We'll do all that. See how this is a little higher here than it is here? So I'll come in like that. It's just a process. In fact, I might not even have it wet enough up there, but the biggest part I wanted to do tonight was to get it stuck, glued to the tree. Now, when I go to putting the you know, a lot of guys, and this, this style of skirting I'm doing, or the, the rigging I'm doing, is different. So I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing steps out of the normal order I'm used to doing them in, but uh, that's okay. That's okay. And a lot of times, if you really, really, really want that candle to come a lot down, Sometimes I'd take a little notch out of those, out of right here, just a little V notch. And you don't want to take much out of there because then you'll get too much down there. But if you take that little V notch out of there, you can get this to come down further. But I'm not, that's not my goal on this saddle. Uh, I want just enough so that And, and it's a like a trail saddle or a barrel saddle or you know just a riding saddle so I probably won't even put another layer up here like some people do just because you don't need it <clears throat> so there's that this will get trimmed up a little bit I'll do that one little bit at a time because the next thing will go is that rigging leather will be right about there and come up around here. So there's one layer I'll have. Then I'll have another layer of the can of the rear of the blah, 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 blah. what's the word I'm looking for, David? Uh, rear jockeys plus the seat Cheyenne leather. So this might come up another three quarters of an inch depending on how all that lays up in there and everything like that. But 
before I sew it, I'll soak it all down again just so that needle uh, at all the needle will go through there real easy. So there's that. Oops, telling me I got a little battery. I hope y'all are still there. All right, well, anyway, there's how that's done. Y'all go have you a good night. Toodaloo, buckaroos. DavidMillsSaddlery.com In case Facebook throws me out for being so uh, Republican or conservative or whatever. All right.